this is Rachid again for another recipe and today we're going to make what we call in French les crêpes dentelles or uh, lacy crepes in English and also when we break them down to, into pieces we call them fiotine. Let me show you how they look like. They look like this. Very crispy, very thin, very crunchy. Or we make pieces like this, they don't have any unique shape. And you just break them in small pieces. And this we call it fiotine. We use it for um, the French entremet, those fancy uh, cakes. And you have some crunch inside. This is what we use. And I can use them in different shapes, like this one is a heart, or oval, or like a cone, I have in one cone, or just like this, for a decoration in a cake. Uh, so let me show you how we're going to do it. For this recipe, we need only egg whites. Separate the egg yolk from the white, we need to be sure that the white do not have any trace of yolks in them. Then we weigh the egg white using a digital scale because an egg can weigh between 30 to 60, to 60 grams. We freeze the egg yolk in an ice cube tray for another project. Melt completely the butter in a small pot. Add the sugar to the hot melted butter and stir until the sugar has completely dissolved. Keep whisking until the mixture is cool enough, then add the egg whites, then uh, keep whisking again, then add the flour until you get a uh, paste. You'd be adding half of the water if the, if the batter is too thick. You don't need to add all of it and then store the, uh, the batter in the refrigerator for one hour up to three days. To create exciting edible shape to complement in your plated dessert, I will be using these twill templates. Uh, I cut this one in half, they are hard plastic. Uh, they have different shapes, rectangle, and I cut this one uh, again to have a large rectangle. Simply place the template on a silk pad a liner, spread the batter into the design, and scrape off the excess of the batter. The height of these uh, templates is most of the time is one of the 16 inch high, which is 1.5 uh, millimeter. does not slip under the templates uh, because it's thick enough uh, to hold and also is thin enough uh, to be spreadable. So please make sure you follow all the instructions of the ingredients uh, to have the right consistency. So you can see the batter here is perfect. Now I'm using a smaller rectangle because I'm looking for a certain shape. You keep doing the same thing.
this time I'm going to create a few teams. And for that I'm using what we call pastry frames or pastry wands. So you spread the batter with a giant spatula. When you're ready to bake them, the oven should be at 400 degrees and the baking should be uh, in the middle of the rack between 5 to 10 minutes. They are done when they're completely brown. So while the liner is on the baking sheet because you need heat, and while they're very hot, uh, use a spatula or the back of a spoon and roll them uh, as fast as you can. Be careful, you may burn your fingers. If you want them lightly brown, uh, those I bake them only for six minutes. The following shapes they look like uh, heart, triangle, and butterfly. Those you can keep them flat or you put them inside the cylinder uh, to give them uh, a round sh shape. You can use also a cylinder to create uh, cigars. For the fiotin, all you have to do, wait until it's dry, cold, then crush it with your finger. And if you don't want to make it, and this is how you find it in the stores, it looks like this. If you buy it, uh, for, for example, this one is just called wafers. So you can uh, use this instead of uh, the one you make, but the one you make tastes so much better. And here I have many shapes, the hearts. You can have one like, like this one, so it's kind of beautiful. And sometimes you just take uh, whipped cream, like uh, la crème fraîche, and you just put a little bit of cream right here. And you just eat it like this. Thank you, and I hope to see you again. Bye.